Hello and welcome back to A Better World. This is your host Mitchell J. Rabin and we're very glad you're joining us again today. Today we're going to have another very interesting show. We're going to be speaking with a gentleman who is here from Australia named Jane who has been spending his life devoted to the development of Vedic mathematics. It's a subject that probably many of you have not even heard of but it is an ancient art an ancient science very creative and it sort of maps the nature of the universe, the way that the Vedic folks have been doing anyway through all their different means of meditation, the use of music, the use of Tantra and Yantra. So here with the use of mathematics, Jane is teaching students, children really, from all over the world how to enjoy mathematics, how to relate to the idea of geometry and shape in a way that perhaps they've never done before and make the entire enterprise of mathematics exciting, creative, enjoyable and basically he is virtually breeding a new population of mathematical, if I may dare say, brilliant and maybe even geniuses. That's what Vedic mathematics brings to the fore. Among other subjects that Jane has been teaching around the world are sacred geometry and the way that relates as well as other ancient mystical practices that figure in to this domain. So we're very pleased to have Jane with us and uh, we're in for a very interesting show. Thank you. Absolutely. Good to see you. You too. So first of all just a quick word if you would Jane. How did you get into this in the first place? In Australia I grew up with my parents who had come from Lebanon and they started in the building trade of all things. So I worked every weekend of my life since the age of five years of age with a trowel in my hand. So I was a bricklayer. So I was actually measuring corners, like mm. one brick here and... Angles. Yeah, angles. And I had to calculate volumes of concrete. Mm. But pr particularly when you're building a house, you have to get the four corners correct. Yeah. So you had to do mathematics where you had to know the size of the brick could be like four inches and half an inch cement, four half. So we had to make gauge rods. So at the end of the day, the four corners of the building had to be precise to the fraction of an inch. And if, if, you'd make a mis if you had made a mistake, the whole building would be in error. So when we're out in the field, we're calculating all the time, oh, how many tiles do I need? If it's um, 108 feet by 109, how many square foot tiles would I need mm. and without having to write it down I worked out systems of mathematics where I could just work out the uh, shortcut. So in, now, in my head I could say 108 times 109 would be 109 plus the 8 which is 117 and then I would multiply the 8 and the 9 which is 72 so that's the answer is 11772 11,700 and 82, for example. Oh, that's fabulous. So within one second, I was I, I developed this art of mental calculation, which the ancient people had done thousands of years ago. You you later discovered. I later discovered that yeah. it was all in print. Isn't that interesting? In a hidden volume that was written 50 years ago, that got buried and unheard of for a long time. Oh, was that so, what was that volume? We have a book here. Um, I have a book here called v Vedic oh. Mathematics. So I'm actually traveling around the world currently.